I'd like to call the April 1st Board of Commissioners meeting to order. Our first order of business is the invocation by Mr. David Cotton, our County Manager. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come before you and conduct the business of Onslow County. Tonight, as we declare April as Child Abuse Prevention Month, we pray for our community. Uh, our community dedicates themselves to be supportive of families and play an active role in preventing child abuse and neglect, as well as take positive action to promote child and family well-being. Father, we pray for the men and women in our armed forces who serve our country with tremendous courage, commitment, and sacrifice. May all we do this day bring you honor and glory. We will continue to thank you and praise you for the blessings you have bestowed upon us. Now with deep respect and reverence for the faiths, beliefs, and traditions of those gathered here tonight, hear us in a moment of silence. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Pledge of allegiance by Deputy County Manager, Ms. Sharon Russell. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Thank you, our elected officials tonight is Sheriff Miller. Thank you, Sheriff, for being here. And we also have uh, our superintendent of school, Mr. Barry Collins. He's not an elected official, but he's here on behalf of the schools, and we appreciate you being here, sir. Um, we ask that all in attendance, <clears throat> please set your cell phones to the silent or vibrate mode. The board offers the public two opportunities to speak during the meeting. Comments during the first uh, public comment period should be limited to three minutes each and must be directly issue oriented with the agenda items for this uh, meeting. The second public comment period is at the end of the meeting and may be on any issue upon uh, the, which the Board of Commissioners has control over. During the second public comment period, citizens can address the board for up to five minutes each. Citizen speakers will be acknowledged in the order in which they sign up to speak and will address all comments to the board as a whole and not one individual commissioner. Speakers will address the board from the speaker's podium at the front of the room and will begin their remarks by stating their name and address. Discussion between speakers and members of the audience will not be allowed. Public comment is not intended to require the board to answer any impromptu questions. Speakers are expected to be civil in their language and presentation. Any comments where the primary purpose is to promote a business or candidacy shall not be allowed. In accordance with the board's adopted rules and procedures, commissioners shall reserve responses, if any, for the commissioner's comment period on the agenda, which is at the end of the meeting. With no other items uh, to be cons uh, considered uh, separately, a motion to adopt the meeting agenda is in order. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? <coughs> aye. 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 Items on the uh, consent agenda. Does any uh, member want to have anything removed for discussion later on the last part of the meeting? If not, a item, uh, a motion to adopt the <coughs> consent agenda is in order. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, First meeting I've ever seen we had on April the 1st that I can remember, but we're not fooling nobody. It's a meeting. <laughs> Public comment, uh, number uh, number three on the agenda. Uh, no one has signed it, Mr. Chairman. Item number four, uh, proclamations, Mr. Cotton. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the first one is the State of North Carolina, County of Onslow Proclamation, Child Abuse Prevention Month. Whereas children are vital to our state's future success, prosperity, and quality of life, as well as being our most vulnerable asset, and whereas all children deserve to have the safe, stable, nurturing homes and communities they need to foster their healthy growth and development, and whereas child abuse and neglect is a community responsibility affecting both the current and future quality of life of a community, and whereas communities that provide parents with the social support, 
knowledge of parenting and child development, and concrete resources they need to, scope, to cope with stress and nurture their children, ensure all children grow to their full potential. And whereas effective child abuse prevention strategies succeed because of partnerships created among citizens, human services agencies, schools, faith communities, healthcare providers, civic organizations, law enforcement agencies, and the business community. Now therefore be it proclaimed that the Onslow County Board of Commissioners declares April 2019 as Child Abuse Prevention Month and call upon all citizens, community agencies, faith groups, medical facilities, elected leaders, and businesses to increase their participation in our efforts to support families in strengthening the community in which we live and call upon all citizens to recognize the courage it takes to raise a child and reaffirm the fundamental human rights of all <clears throat> children to live free from violence and abuse presented this first day of April. Uh, the chairman is requesting that Commissioner uh, Knapp present the proclamation and call upon Consolidated Human Services staff to receive it. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I just want to, to provide this to these individuals and, and stress the importance of Child Abuse Prevention Month. Uh, personally, I think it should be every month of the year. Uh, the last three years of my career, I spent working sexual crimes against children and child abuse, and you can't imagine the toll it takes not only on the child, but the family and the investigators themselves. Um, I can still recall cases uh, that sometimes I think about, it saddens me, and, and we're trying to do the best that we can, and I know these people faithfully do their job as best as they can as well. And I'm very proud of all you guys for the effort that you put into it. Um, it's something that we, we hate to address, but it happens, unfortunately, in this country. But it's our goal as parents, as citizens, if we have any indication of any possible child abuse, is to report it, because that child is, is defenseless. And personally, you know, I have some some words for people that commit child abuse, but I'll refrain from saying them, saying them here. But I just want to congratulate you guys. You guys do a wonderful job, and thank you very much for all that you do. Thank you so much. I would like to thank the commissioners on behalf of Pierce Family Development Center and the Department of Social Services for recognizing April as Prevent Child Abuse Month. Thank you. We also have um, the pinwheels for prevention at the Pierce Family Development Center on Wednesday at 10 a.m. If anyone wants to join us there, as we plan a garden of pinwheels um, in recognition and celebration. And the Cherish the Child annual fundraiser dinner is on Friday night this week, also in support of child abuse prevention. Thank you. Thanks. Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, the next proclamation is titled State of North Carolina, County of Onslow, Proclamation, Onslow County Senior Games. Whereas mature adults in the entire community look forward to the Onslow County Senior Games, an Olympic style event designed to create a year round health promotion and competition for participants that are, eight, eight, that are 50 years of age and better. And whereas Onslow County Senior Games held the month of April of this year, is sanctioned by the North Carolina Senior Games. And whereas the North Carolina Senior Games, the largest senior Olympic program in the nation, will include more than 60,000 total participants competing in more than 50 medal sports. And whereas the North Carolina Senior Games takes a holistic approach to improving individual health by involving the body, mind and spirit of the athletes and promoting the importance of aging in a healthy manner. And whereas our well wishes are extended to all of the competitors, especially the seniors from the Onslow County community who will strive to achieve their personal goals. Now therefore be it proclaimed that the Onslow County Board of Commissioners welcomes the 2019 North Carolina Senior Games, a leader in guiding statewide programming in the area of health, aging, and recreation to Onslow County. The Board of Commissioners encourages all residents of Onslow County to applaud this organization's devotion 
to health promotion and to support the outstanding athletes participating in this year's senior games presented this first day of April. The uh, chairman is requesting that staff from Onslow County Parks and Recreation and Senior Services accept the proclamation on behalf of the chairman. Julie always picks the oldest commissioner to do these senior <laughs> things, but you made a mistake. Paul's got me by a couple, <laughs> a couple of days. But Paul and I, these folks don't look like senior citizens, do they? They're young. All these people are young. <laughs> Paul and I go to the doctor to get our physical. They don't ask us our age. They just carbon date us. <laughs> So we appreciate what y'all do, and thank you for being here tonight to accept this proclamation and uh, give it to you, and you're welcome to say whatever words you want to say. Just a quick <clears throat> invitation. Thank you so much for recognizing the Senior Games, and we look forward to our opening ceremony Saturday morning at 9 a.m. at Onslow Pines Park, if any of you can make it. I know, I know a couple of you are going to be there, but we'd love to have you all out there if you can make it. Um, thank you so much again. We'll let you say what I just want to mention real quick that we also have the Silver Arts Program that goes along with the Onslow County Senior Games, and it's all presented right now at the Senior Center. Thank you. Okay, next item uh, is order, uh, item number five, uh, final offer on real property, Ms. Laura Jones, thank you. Uh, good evening, Chairman, Vice Chair, Commissioners. Um, this evening we just have one final offer um, before you. It's parcel 065272, and it's located at 140 Byram Run. It's 0.37 of an acre, and it's a wooded lot, and the original offer was 4,500, and the final offer is 4,500. We did um, do a publication in the Jacksonville Daily News, but we did not receive any upset bids on it. Therefore, the final offer of 4,500 is being brought before you for final consideration. If approved, um, a deed will be prepared to um, transfer the property. Any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Motion to approve. Second. Thank you. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 aye so have it. Um, uh, section B, closure of Swansboro Branch Library, Miss Virginia Marsh. <clears throat> Good evening, Chairman, Vice Chairman, Commissioners. April 22nd through the 27th of this year, the carpeting will be replaced at the Swansboro Branch Library. The carpeting installation will be disruptive to library services and create an unsafe environment. It is recommended that the Swansboro Branch Library be closed from April 22nd through the 27th to allow for the carpet to be replaced without interruptions. It is respectfully requested that the Board of Commissioners approve the closing of the Swansboro Branch Library April 22nd through the 27th for the purchase of replacing the carpeting. Motion. motion to approve. Second. And motion and second. All in, uh, any discussion? All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? I say it. Thank you. Thank you. North Carolina existing business grant request, uh, Mr. Cotton. Uh, Mr. Chairman, we, we have a consolidated agreement. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, <laughs> consolidated agreement. I, I, do, I do want to move fast, don't I? <laughs> Good evening. Miss Lee. Thank you. I didn't mean to skip you. I thought I skipped him, sorry. I thought you were getting um, a break. Hey, it's April Fool. <laughs> um, good evening, Chairman, Vice Chairman, Commissioners, and Mr. Cotton. Um, each year, uh, the uh, state of North Carolina and the Onslow County Health Department enter into a consolidated agreement. It is an annual agreement, 
Uh, it provides state funding for our essential public health services, which include our environmental health, maternal and child health, uh, family planning, communicable disease, and our HIV education. Uh, this agreement outlines the responsibilities um, that the state will provide, as well as those of the health department. And um, we, again, are required to um, seek approval for the agreement, as well as my signature on the agreement. Uh, the attorney has reviewed this um, consolidated agreement for 1920, and it's respectfully requested that the Board of Commissioners accept the consolidated agreement and authorize myself, Mr. Dave McColl, and Chairman to sign the agreement on behalf of the county. Motion so approved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? I say, thank you, Ms. Lee. Thank you. Now we'll move on to D, North Carolina Existing Business Grant. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners. Uh, Richard Johnson, who is the shipyard owner, as well as the uh, two tenant companies being Winter Custom Yachts and U.S. Boat, uh, Work Boats, have submitted a building reuse grant to the state of North Carolina. Uh, <clears throat> the the, the grant is specifically to uh, expand the, the doors that allow for larger uh, craft to be moved in, and, and that is to address uh, quality assurance, quality control, and to actually allow them to compete for some, some of the, the, the larger market. Uh, one of the conditions of the grant is that 50% uh, of the total construction, which in this case is uh, approximately $334,000, uh, 50 percent be borne by the owner or the, the applicant, and then the other 50 percent is uh, provided by the state, and the state requires that 5 percent be in the form of a local match. So that equates to uh, $8,350. Uh, so no funding would be released until all terms and conditions of the grant have been met uh, by the shipyard owner. And uh, owing to the increased work and contracting capacities, uh, these doors will allow this company. The companies um, are cr committed to producing an additional at least 15 new jobs um, with above average wages within the 18 months of, uh, of the grant award. Uh, it's respectfully requested that the Board of Commissioners consider the proposal presented by the Jacksonville Onslow Economic Development and to direct staff accordingly. Motion to approve. Second. second. We have a motion and a second. Uh, discussion? Questions? Mr. Chairman, um, my concern is, is that uh, this project will either proceed or not based on its own merits, based on market forces, and that it, uh, it's unnecessary for the county to become involved in these issues. Uh, and frequently businesses have expanded over the past, even the past period since the hurricane. Construction companies have added roofing crews and building decks, and we haven't done a thing to incentivize that. The market forces have allowed that to happen. And so uh, this is a well-established company that will either proceed with the project either on its own or, or not based on their uh, wishes to do so. And so when the federal government does this, I call it crony capitalism. So uh, that, my point of view is that uh, Onslow County doesn't need to get involved in regulating the process. Just let the free market forces work. Thank you, sir. Anybody else? Mr. Chairman, if I may, um, I, I support this motion, uh, and I support this motion because this is a state uh, program that's been set up. It's a state grant program, and we are putting up $8,350. And what we're getting for that $8,350 is 15 new jobs that will go to people in this community uh, at above average wages, uh, so more than $35,000 plus, which is going to have an economic impact uh, on this area on its own. And those people have to remain employed for up to six months pursuant to the terms of the grant. Um, and we're going to be getting a uh, $167,000 from the state, from state money that's going to go into this project uh, for this $8,300 match. 
Um, and so we're going to have the property value of this property increase dramatically between these two effects on the 15 new jobs and the increased property value. We're going to get that money back uh, in short order and then continue to receive the benefits from this deal moving forward. And so I, I think it's a no-brainer, and this is the kind of thing that we should be doing on an economic development side uh, as many times as we're able to do it. So I'd encourage you guys to support the motion. Mr. Cotton, uh, does <clears throat> the economic development money, or the money we would use, that comes from our economic development pool? Uh, yes, sir. We, we, we could pull it from... Uh, our designated economic development money, not necessarily from uh, the Burton Park Fund, but we do have economic development uh, funds identified. And that money can't be used for anything else but economic development as Correct. the way yes. it is. Yes. So it don't necessarily come from the general fund. The uh, original origin of some of that money, I, I, I suspect, would, would be local tax dollars, but uh, it, it's it's been tied up in uh, encumbered with uh, economic development re requirements. Mr. Chair, one of the things, if you haven't been down there, it's the Hatteras plant is what it is, and there's a lot going on down there if you go down there and take a look. <coughs> but now that Winters is going to start building his own boats in Swansboro area, we're going to get the tax base off them boats. And when you're talking about not a $50,000 rig, you're talking about a million point five, two million dollar boat. That's a lot of tax base, Ronzo County. We'll get our money back pretty quick. And I've been down there looking, and Winters has been down there a lot longer than what he started building his own yachts here because he was transporting, I think, from Apex, if I get that correct, bringing them in here in pieces, and it got to be too expensive. So he's now building them there at the old Hatteras shot alongside of, it's not Armstrong anymore. What is it? Uh, somebody help me out with the name of it now. Armstrong Marines next door, U.S. boats. U.S. boats. That's correct. Boats. Uh, and they're right next door building the ferry that's going to be coming out. I know it's a little bit late coming out, but it's supposed to be out this summer, I understand, and that's a people ferry that's going to go over to Hatteras. Uh, there's going to be a lot of tax base there, and that's why I'm supporting this. Mr. Chair, same uh, as Commissioner Buchanan said, is I'm going to support this because of the, the opportunity for a tax base increase. Um, if we're Supporting economic development in Onslow County. I think this is a, a signal that we're going to support economic development in Onslow County. And 8350 is going to turn around pretty quickly for us. Um, I know we worry about setting a precedent for putting money into to businesses coming in and then some of that already established, but also don't want to set the precedent that we're not going to support existing businesses when they have opportunity with a matching state grant, and ours is about 5% to proceed forward with that. So... That being said, I will be in, in favor of supporting this. And Mr. Chairman, I, I would just say that uh, any time we can bring $300,000 into Onslow County for $8,300, i will have to support that. Are you talking about you referring to the tax base, I'm, increasing I'm the tax base? Well, that, that's a, an ongoing uh, benefit to Onslow County that will continue to benefit us for years to come. but. I'm just thinking about the $300,000 investment that's being made in the property. Uh, just the initial investment is, is enough to, to be worth uh, committing $8,300 in, in my book. Anyone else? I just got a question, if I remember correctly, if, if, this, if this isn't approved, is there an alternative revenue stream for this? Is it gonna be funded if it's not approved? I'm just that, asking that was, the question. They told us that that meeting we had, yes, that there was other money. I mean, I, I'm listening to both arguments from both sides, and I, and I see where you guys are coming from as far as economic development. But I kind of I, I lean towards uh, Commissioner Price, um, and I'm not trying to be the bad guy here. I'm just, I'm just trying to analyze this. I know it's only $8,350, but it's $8,350 out of our budget. And I've got some concerns about that because my idea of incentives is to bring companies in to Onslow County not support the ones that are already here. Um, so my focus is more so on a bigger picture that we should be using our economic development money to bring the companies in here, to bring businesses or industries in here and not, even though there are businesses that within our county that, that may need help or whatever, um, to me, I just don't think it's, I don't, I don't think it's right that we should try to, to interfere with the free enterprise system 
and get involved in something to help them with their existing business because apparently they're doing well. Again, this is just my opinion, and you know I've listened to arguments from both sides, and and um, I really have some mixed feelings on this one. I know it's small, but eighty three hundred and fifty dollars is eighty three hundred and fifty dollars, and let me just hang on just a second. I understand the state will provide ninety percent of the fifty percent match, and I do take what you said into consideration about you know bringing in industry here. But I just think that our EDC money, our economic development money, should be utilized to bring companies here, and not to continuously support those that are already exist here in Onslow County. That's just my opinion. So, if I may, I, I, I think we may find that supporting the existing industry in Onslow County and growing the existing industry may be more beneficial to Onslow County in a lot of ways than, than bringing in new industry. So, it could just be something to consider. Mr. Yeah. Chair, I call a question. <laughs> Anybody else? Okay, well, we may have a split vote on this. I'd like to see uh, hands of the uh, um, vote on the motion. Uh, aye. 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 What motion? You, on, you in? For what motion? Aye. Aye. On the motion. What motion? <laughs> to do it. Motion I, I, to approve as written. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you threw me off there for a second. Okay, we have. Okay, all opposed? Okay, you got the record now. Okay, the ayes have it. Consent agenda, we don't have anything on the consent agenda that was moved. Uh, seven is public comment. Anyone signed up? No, sir. Okay, manager comment. Just really quickly, there is uh, severe weather predicted for late Tuesday, early Wednesday. Um, we'll, we'll be monitoring that. Uh, it's just calling for strong winds, high surf, and, and the potential for, for minor flooding. But if, but if anything does change significantly, I'll, I'll let the commissioners know if we need to take any action. David, was that just Tuesday? You said Wednesday too? Because we've uh, been watching it pretty close because we got some training going on. Yes, sir. It's uh, late Tuesday into uh, early Wednesday morning. So it'll be uh, at least a 12, 12 hour event. Thank you. Roughly. Okay, well, Commissioner comments. Um, Commissioner Buchanan. Thank you everybody for being here and have a safe trip home. <laughs> Commissioner Foster. Just as quick as Commissioner Buchanan, thanks for coming tonight. Have a great evening. Commissioner Nant. Ditto. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I weren't about to believe That's that. That's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I just thank everybody for coming, and, and I do hope you have a safe trip home. Ooh. Thank you, Robert. <clears throat> I'd like to thank Ms. Sherry Slater for sharing the vision and goals to uh, the county commissioners from our district at our NCACC district meeting, uh, the vision and goals of the crisis center, and to discuss the opioid crisis with us there to a, a number of commissioners from our uh, district. Uh, also like to thank Onslow County employees for their, their giving to the United Way. Onslow County was acknowledged for their commitment to the United Way at the luncheon held by United Way on March the 20th. So congratulations for your giving there for the United Way. Uh, also, special congratulations to Mr. Brock Ridge. He was honored uh, the other night at uh, Richlands High School uh, for his commitment to the Richlands community and all his years of service. Uh, they honored him with a change in or, de or dedicate or acknowledge uh, his role there by naming the stadium after him. They named the stadium after Mr. Ridge, and uh, that's a well-deserved honor. Uh, for all his years of service, well over 50 years of service to the Richlands community. And so uh, that's uh, something we appreciate too. Uh, I'd also like to thank uh, Ms. Ms. Bullrus and her, uh, her guidance counselor there at Hunters Creek Elementary School for the invitation to go out and speak at their career day and uh, got a chance to speak to a group of uh, fifth graders, four different groups of fifth graders there. We had a number of our people there, uh, EMS people, uh, volunteer fire people and uh, some of our uh, vet, uh, Marines there as well speaking. So uh, it was a good, good morning, well organized, and even had some breakfast there for us as well. So I appreciate it. Have a good evening. You had to mention food. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Commissioner <laughs> Shanahan. Uh, today is uh, one year to the day from Census Day 2020. And uh, so this may be the first time you've thought about the census in about a decade. 
uh, but it will not be the last. You're going to be hearing a lot about it over the course of the next year, and so keep it in mind. And I want you to keep one number in mind, which is $1,623, uh, because that's what, when you break down the amount of federal funding that's tied to census numbers, uh, that's what being counted was worth in the last census, was $1,623 into your local community, into your schools, into your roads, uh, and that's per person per year. Uh, so it's a significant amount of money. Uh, we estimate that Onzo County uh, was undercounted, undercounted by tens of thousands of people in the last census, and that turns into hundreds of millions of dollars in federal aid. Uh, and so uh, definitely keep it on your radar and uh, make sure that you and your, your neighbors are, are counted in the next census. Um, also, the senior games are great. I was happy to be a participant uh, as a, uh, a, a judge and for the silver arts, yeah, I had to be a judge, right? Um, in the uh, silver, silver arts, uh, performing arts category uh, last year, and it was a blast. And so if you have some time to come out and uh, either observe, have fun with some people, it's a, it's a great event. That's it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, sir. Vice Chairman Bennett. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you guys for your, yielding your time. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Chairman, the vice chair is confused. <laughs> um, I want to thank, uh, I want to uh, welcome uh, our new director of the Jacksonville Onslow Economic Development Partnership, Mark uh, Sutherland, who is here today, and thank Sheila for the work that she's done now as a project director. I'm sure that you'll still have plenty of work to do. We thank you for being here tonight, and we appreciate the work that you do. Um, I want to recognize the community college and the school system for Trades Day last weekend, which was a lot of fun. And uh, if you don't and never been to one of those, you should go and uh, see what's going on in our community college and our schools. And finally, uh, congratulate the Salvation Army of uh, Onslow County that helped 1,543 people in the month of February with food, clothing, and shelter and not a dime of it was taxpayer money. 148 of those were military or dependents, and 45 were homeless. And again, it was without any taxpayer money. So thank you for being here tonight, and hope you have a good evening. Thank you, Vice Chair. I'd like to remind everybody that April the 8th, the Board of Commissioners will have a workshop to discuss uh, numerous items, uh, economic development. Uh, I think the Oslo Schools and the Sheriff's Department's got a presentation for us and Mr. Cotton's going to give us some ideas on the budget and the direction we're going. And um, I'd like to remind everybody on April the 30th is uh, the uh, primary election for third congressional district. Uh, talk to your friends, your family, get out and vote. Uh, that, that seat is really important to Eastern North Carolina. It's a replacement for Walter B. Jones that passed away. So uh, other than that, uh, congratulations to the Senior Games folks for being here tonight and, and uh, uh, accepting the uh, presentation or the proclamation from us. Other than that, um, entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. We are adjourned. <laughs>